Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we're going to talk about Tesla's upcoming discount on a refresh, re-engineered Tesla Model 3, and why I feel like a Model 3 discount is coming, maybe not for the long range, and of course, maybe not for the performance, but this could give us some clues on what pricing this actually might be coming out for the ludicrous as well. So we're going to take a look at that, plus a variety of topics, but before we do that, let's run that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested, and definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the and get the access to the ultimate financing guide for any Tesla vehicle or even Rivian's actually out there. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And today's live stream and all live streams are partnered with Mint Mobile, but more on that later. So Tesla, Tesla Model 3, re-engineered. They keep changing this. It was re-engineered. It was refreshed. It was the all new upgraded. They're, they keep changing this, what this Model 3 actually is. But we actually saw one today again, and it was really, really nice uh, for sure. Seeing it in person, it was a modded one with unplugged wheels on it. It was a really, really cool Tesla. It was a really, really cool Tesla Model 3. I'm just trying to pull up right now so I can show you guys a picture of it because it was it was certainly a really really cool tesla shout out to joey for having bringing his tesla model 3 if you're following us on x you could see it was a red model 3 highland it was also on the unplugged wheels as well it was really cool to see both of these vehicles side by side an unplugged model 3 and also a cyber truck that's got unplugged bits on it as well I guess I don't even know why I'm showing it to you guys on the phone. I could have just showed it on my feed right here because I posted it earlier today when we went to the meet for it right here. And it was really cool to see both of these in person, or I guess the red one in person because it was also lowered on unplugged springs. It was very nice. It's got me thinking like, hmm, should I get a Model 3? I mean, we did have one on order through a friend, but uh, I mean, now that the ludicrous hype is all out, maybe maybe that's the next move for the project vehicle that isn't just a crazy big truck like that we've got. But anyways, back to the topic. Model 3 is in inventory and shout out to Brendan for posting this. Looks like Model 3 rear wheel drive inventory is already building up in Charlotte. Wouldn't be surprised to see referral benefits added back to the Model 3 soon. So what he's talking about here is if you use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, you can get three months of full self-driving, which is valued at $600. But this is only, only on the Tesla Model Y and the Model X and the Model S. So not really even on the Model 3 real wheel drive at all. And so certainly what he's saying here is that inventory is starting to build up for the Model 3 real wheel drive. We're not seeing it as much on Tesla Dash Info, but maybe this is only tracking the older Tesla Model 3, not even the new one on here. But you can see on Tesla's website that the new Model 3 real wheel drive is in inventory. And on top of that, if you're someone that has a Model 3 long range Highland refresh on order, you can call your local Tesla store to see if they've got one ready for you. That may be a cancellation. You can actually do this for any Tesla vehicle, Cybertrucks included. And so certainly if inventory is starting to stack up like this now, then I can imagine we're going to start to see some discounts, some incentives, and of course the elusive uh, referral program for the Model 3 Highland refresh as well. And so I would imagine maybe not by this month, unless it's going to be some sort of internal incentive, but I would imagine definitely by June, which is the last month of the second quarter, then we will start to see more incentives on the Model 3 real world drive. And I think like this is, if you've got a home charger, if you've got a wall charger EV set up at home, then really you're, you, all you need is a real world drive. That's what, that's my opinion. But if you do any sort of road trips, that's where you're going to feel the 
real world drive at the end of the day. But let me know what your thoughts on it. I'm certainly excited for a d- discount and more incentives. That's what we love to highlight and talk about. And I would bet money that, well, I bet money two things. The first thing is that the Model 3 Ludicrous Highland is coming out this month in terms of ordering, opening up that order bank for reservations. And the second thing is we will see some sort of incentive on the Model 3 real world drive by the end of this quarter. So by the end of the next three months. But let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic, but before we do that, a quick word from our partner. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams. How much are you paying for your mobile plan and what do you actually get? Speed, coverage, data access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, a mobile hotspot even? Well, Mint offers all of these features for as low as $15 a month. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. Don't be duped. Go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. Thanks for that, everybody. And uh, thanks for joining in, everybody. Uh, Jeff, Rivian over Tesla. Yes, 100%. I, I've talked to, I actually talked to someone else today. There was, uh, in case you missed it, there was madness today. We were at Peterson Museum. It was a crazy meet with all the different cyber trucks. I guess we can start ahead from the beginning here. Uh, there was probably the most cyber trucks we've seen at a meet yet. Over 18, actually 19, 20 cyber trucks, if you include front. Hans's cyber truck. There, there wasn't that many Rivians there, Jeff. There was like maybe three or four, but we did talk to one owner who does have both. And I asked him some questions about the, the differences between the two. And he does say that the Rivian is nicer, more luxurious, and also more comfortable as well with the even versus a cyber truck. But here's Franz's cyber truck 002, pretty badass in this matte black, satin black type of look. We also got to see a Model 3 Highland that was modified, lowered on rims. Shout out to Scartintino X. And then we got to line up four cyber trucks in the colors of the rainbow Skittles. We can see here with all the different ones that we've got uh, Brandon Tesla, Brandon and Jim's Tesla cyber truck. We got Will F the pumps and we got Blue Booties, David Balenciaga in his blue cyber truck as as well. We went to Rodeo right after that. And you can see, imagine some of the madness that ensued at Rodeo Drive, parking in front of Gucci and things like that. But yes, would I would I say the Model 3 long range over over the real world drive, uh, Mamba, to answer your question, you said we we'll go with real world drive. If you have a home charger and you do not do a lot of road trips, then yes, I would say real world drive over long range. And, and if you got like a two, three vehicle setup, I know that's easier said than done, but if you've got like, uh, I, I think I would go for the real world drive because we've got the Cybertruck and the Model X. And maybe like if I had to downside to just two vehicles, then maybe a real world drive and a long version of Tesla after that. AJ, thanks for coming in. Super, is Tesla really going after Cybertruck sellers? Not that I think at all. We actually talked to a bunch of Cybertruck owners today. Two of them we talked to already flipped Cybertrucks and doesn't seem like they're going after Tesla Cybertruck owners at all. Mamba, ludicrous dropping tomorrow, huh? Uh, I mean, at this point, it's probably going to be at near the end of this month, maybe maybe even like the third or fourth week. Rufian is trash, but I'm not Cybertruck. Uh, Rufian's not trash, but I, I see what you're saying. 
Rivian R1X, Jeff, will take sales? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the R1, if they do a refresh, it definitely will take sales, especially now that it has access to the Tesla supercharging network. Caesar, an interesting conversation of the cost to get a Tesla salvage site approved for supercharging. Ooh, that is, is that even possible? Because I heard that it was like not possible to do that, but maybe it is. Super, is the Model Y Juniper refresh delayed? I think it's going to be one year from today. Next early quarter, early the first quarter of next year is maybe when... And they, I would, I could see that coming out for them. Jeff, cancellation of the Model 2 and Model Y refresh. Fantastic news for Rivian. Did, was there a Model refresh cancellation? I didn't think I see that. Model Y jumper not coming till 2026, bro? Oh, is that, is that, is that what came out? I didn't see that. Is that, um, so let me see if I can search on the, if someone could uh, post that in the thing. I did not see that at all. I know that the Model 2 was, uh, it's not, it's like canceled, but not canceled. It was focusing on RoboTaxi and something like that. There was like a lot of different, um, a lot of different, uh, confusion with yesterday's article with Elon and things like that, or it was two days ago. Is there any update with the full self-driving starts? I'm on 2024.817 and haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, we actually have not gotten our email yet, but it is coming out for, uh, people. So I guess we'll see. Michael Shin, thanks for coming in. Are you the Michael Shin that I know, or are you a different Michael Shin that I don't know? I test drive at Model Y today, told the sales Salesman, see you towards the end of quarter two. Nice one there. Or I guess you could say, well, I guess they don't really care about sales like immediately. They're just trying to get orders into the queue. He probably tried to force you to place a deposit, a ASAP. All right, what else we got? In this next topic, we've got an even higher massive discount on a Tesla Model Y. Yesterday, we talked about an $8,100 discount, and now we've got an even higher one at $8,400 off. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So yesterday, we found a couple different Model Ys. This one right here, which is a pretty standard one, and it's got a 51 hundred dollar discount after that we found another one right after that that had an eighty one hundred dollar discount shout out to big z on from waiting for tesla you can see this one is a seven seater and it's also got black paint so that's why it adds up to an eighty one hundred dollar discount but today big z found another one that is even higher than that it seems like tesla is trying to clear out the old tesla vehicles and they've literally put the clearance button on blast and they're trying to get rid of any and all old Tesla so they can clear their inventory and here it actually is it's a 2020 whichever Tesla Model Y long range it is still a seven seater and it also is still a black paint exterior but it also has the 20 inch induction rims and it's got a $8,400 discount the biggest discount that we have seen yet and of course if you're looking to place a deposit on a Tesla vehicle don't forget to use a Tesla referral code just like the one down below in the description so you can get three months of full self driving which is valued at $600 and thank you to everybody that's used our Tesla referral code in the past and in the future but tesla seems to be ramping up these discounts higher and higher so if you're looking to purchase a tesla vehicle and if you don't need one just yet if you don't need to rush into it definitely wait until the end of the quarter because that is when i feel like the deals are going to get better and better but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it. we're going to jump into the live stream comments but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link to support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So don't forget to check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And all the interest rates on this list are better than Tesla financing. So don't forget to check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And on top of that, if you're in the Southern California area, we've got a giveaway running on the channel right now. So if you're interested in winning paint protection film or vinyl change color film for your Tesla or any vehicle, and you also you must be willing to travel to the Southern California area, giveaway with Bespoke Design Lab, head on over to our YouTube community page so that you can enter in onto the giveaway. And on top of that, there's another big announcement 
with Tenant EV Financing. We are sponsored by Tenant EV Financing, but they are running a promotion right now. If you want a free electric charger for your Tesla, definitely check out Tenant EV Financing down below in the description. If you choose Tenant and go through their installation, you can get a free electric charger with it all. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. And thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month. Just a couple quick announcements that there. And also, I do want to give a shout out. I know we've been talking about full self-driving, the newest betas, versions, and all those different things, but shout out to Accelerating Tech. They've got a cool video where they installed version uh, version full self-driving on their Tesla vehicle and drove through it. So definitely check out Accelerating Tech. Also down below, I'll put it in the comments right here so you can check them out for all the Tesla videos as well. They helped me film a video today at the Peterson Museum, so they were a big help with that. And so definitely check out, give them a follow and a like button on some of their videos as well. Rivian haters just scurred. <laughs> I mean, why, why hate? I mean, Rivians are cool too. Mom, but why is the Ludacris taking so long to be released? Yeah, really no idea. I mean, at this point, they might as well just release it because now Cat's essentially out of the bag. Rivian going to the moon, not bankrupt. Yeah, we've got Rivian shares. Maybe we should load up more on those. What do you guys think? Leo, thanks for coming in. No thanks driving to Ionic 6 for the bet of the money. Do you think Rivian's going bankrupt? I don't think so. Is there some sort of Tesla fanboy excuse to believe that? Why? It's always telling me in the comments. I don't know. Yeah, it's exactly the fanboy excuse. People have been always saying this in the comments. Rivian haters just scared. So far, Tesla over promises and underlivers, but Rivian does the opposite. I like that viewpoint. Caesar, 1450 is the cost to get a salvage Tesla approved for supercharge. Oh, interesting. I actually did not know that at all. That's actually really cool. Really cool to see. We yeah, are recapping today. Today was an insane day. And on top of that, uh, Franz showed up and signed a bunch of people's Teslas. It was a really cool experience for all the different things. He was just really cool at actually just rocking around and signing people's Teslas and signing people's more like posters and papers and everything. That really cool guy. And uh, actually walking around to check out people's Teslas as, as well. And on top of that, it was really cool. Check this out, guys. So we have a Tesla cyber hammer and you can see that it is digitally signed by Franz, but just wait, it was also regular signed by Franz too. So really cool for Franz to go around and sign everybody's stuff and we were able to bring our cyber hammer to the meet and get it signed as well super cubes uh are you gonna watch the eclipse yeah i guess so but we don't have the glasses so i don't know Twelve things the rivian r2 will come out before the model y refresh Ooh, that's a good bet actually i like i like that to see which one will actually come out first that'll be interesting but thanks for jumping in everybody thanks for supporting thanks for hitting the like button the comments and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya